What's up, you beautiful nerds? I am Wildfire One. This is Nerds New Sexy Entertainment. This is our podcast. We haven't done this in God knows how long. I am joined by two amazing individuals, two of my best friends, two two people that I've known for a long time. I've worked with them. We're gonna be talking about. And if you haven't noticed by what we're how we're dressed, you know we have a priest over there, we have a monk here, we have a biker over there. It's Halloween. This is Halloween, baby. What's up, y'all? Grizzly McBee here. Been a while, and a while. now we are back. This will be the first podcast we do before we start our new season, season nine. Mm-hmm. Finally coming, leave, guys. Leave. It's finally coming. So be prepared. And then, of course, the guy to my right here, upper right, uh, He's he's been with us, he hasn't been with us, and he's with us again. That's our, right. Our our great our great reverend priest reverend on that side priest on this side. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Ghostly killer. You also know him probably by Jewish flow when I had it that name. You know, this could be my first uh, almost podcast here. As soon as I heard about Halloween though, I had to jump on the train. Of course, my favorite holiday. Oh, best oh, holiday. Yeah. I got some got some great stories to tell here today. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. Do. and that's it's what we're that's really what, interesting. That's the topic we're going to talk about. Um. We all used to work together. We you know, we worked together at a at a mall uh, as security. There was a, a town over. I will say this: we had some good stories. We have some good, uh, some real good memories from that place. But we're gonna talk about ghost stories because that place was haunted as fuck. Uh, yes, it and was. every time I train someone to do graveyards, I always warn them there was like seven ghosts there. It was like six yeah. or seven, and uh, each one was like fucking weird and and some of them were in the actual stores which was really fucking mm-hmm. weird i think i'll i think we'll start you know what uh grizz why don't you start us off with a story okay so my first encounter with an entity there at the mall was in access seven okay only a few times a year would we ever have balloons in the mall get real quick now, if you don't know what access seven is it's a back hallway behind the stores of the mall so it's like a little corridor yeah it's, it's a, a an employee what it is employee cord corridor which is like barely lit it's it's scary to begin with the ghost he's talking about we're smiling because we know who he's talking about this was the That's most true. probably one of the most influential wow. like uh known entities in that in that area very bizarre very yeah. bizarre so go on it, it, it kind of reminds you of the story of it for a second oh big yeah. time you'd have to walk in from the sears side of the mall into that access and shortly after you made the l to head towards the other wing of the mall about 50 percent of the time a balloon would just randomly appear Appear right behind you and follow you down that corridor. Straight follow you. Yep. Like it was attached to your your waistband or something. Like like it was the it clown just going, "Hey, look, I know where you're at. Here's a beacon. I'm following you." Well, let me That's ask right. you this: Have you ever? Did you ever hear the giggle? Every time I saw the balloon. <laughs> Every time. It wasn't like a. Like a demonic giggle, it was. Well, I mean, it, it could have been because it was a kid. Uh, you know, well, <laughs> you, you never know. Something creepy. You just remind me of one of the other stories. Good. Yeah, it um, was. A, it would get you. The what? The, and this, this is. We'll, so we'll call this ghost number one. Ghost number one is the child of the of the mall, as we call them, and the this, balloon this, ghost, the balloon or the balloon ghost. I would always warn the graveyards because it happened at least like twice a week. At least it happened to me like a few times, and I think I told Grizz, and he's like, "You're full of shit." And then, and then it happened to me. It happened <laughs> to him. This place ain't haunted. Nah, there's and uh, here. you go with that story, and I, I'm sure, um, I'm sure Ghost has his own his own story to tell about this particular ghost. Is my first time as I was walking down one of the hallways, not even not even an access way, just a straight one of the straight co- common areas in the graveyard. Where the whole place is empty. There's no sound. Uh, they were trying to save money at this point, so most of the lights were off. And all of a sudden, I look behind me, and there's this floating fucking balloon. I look back, and I'm like, uh, okay. And then I hear, hee. I'm like, oh, shit. You I don't think... know what to add, to add on to that balloon story, too? Hmm. 
those balloons that come around the corner and stuff are also from stores that used to be there. They That's not what, there. They haven't all. been there for they years. On yes. They have names on the balloons and they do not they should not be there, do not belong there. <laughs> they come out of nowhere. Haven't been like there Pennywise. for years, yes. And that's part of why, why it's so freaky about it. But you hear the giggle, he, and I turn around, and at that point, I think the first time I heard it, I'm like, I'm going to go outside for a little bit. So I, I just dubbed it like the child The child goes to the mall. And I'd tell the graveyards and, and whoever worked to be used to it because that's a thing. In fact, I think uh, Ghost, I, when you did Graves a few times before you did it, I told you about it. I might yeah, even told your brother a few times. Didn't, didn't believe about it, you know. I'm like, there's no such things to go. No here. one does. Like, I wouldn't believe myself. Who's gonna die at this mall? No one. <laughs> like a tiny ass mall. No one's gonna die there. <laughs> so, do you have a story about ghost number one? Ghost number one? Uh, you know, just the same as you guys. You know, take it a stroll, diet. You know, not believing anything about this about real. And then, uh, of course, this might take us to ghost number two, depending if this is not connected. Up to you guys. So, going down the access way, of course come around as soon as you're about to turn that corner out comes that balloon floating by your seven face. right seven was just seven was known me. for that ghost yeah. seven had seven has has uh access seven had two 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 that's and... what brings me into the other one go ahead is i'm pretty sure it's ties to it so the access seven go there the balloon was there went by another night nights later nothing walking down and guess what? i hear a doorbell ring yep. and the thing was not there on the wall no more it hasn't been Mm -hmm. time. Remove the bell when they closed the store. Yeah, yeah. That particular there's nothing on the wall for it. Still go off. I mean, it was just loose wires hanging out of the wall. Yeah, and then, bell not even touching to nothing off. to it. Yeah, I've, I, I think I think all three of us has had that experience at one point or another. Uh, what you? It's funny you mention that because I remember me and Grizz were going to a call one night, and we walked by and. And like that, that, that it's an empty space, and we hear bing bong, and we look at each other like, "What the fuck, dude? Yeah, that's it. How is that possible?" Let's come on in. The water's fine. Um, and also the time when the doorbell went off. Yeah. I also had a giggle come around the corner, mm -hmm. and I left. I walked out of that access way. I didn't want to go back in there. I'll now, that right now, let me ask it's you guys. Like are just fucking with people. Yeah, yeah they just like they love it. They love Together. it. Together, yeah. Well, it it did that to you and me on several occasions. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, there was one night where it was uh, me, Ghost, and his brother during the holiday season, and it it's like somebody was sitting there just ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, oh, like ding impatient. <laughs> Let me in, bitch. Huh? I want some shoes. Let me so, in. So, so me and Ghost were like. Uh, it's gonna better over to investigate it, and all we hear is just him running down the access way. That's right. You hear those boots. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's nothing there. <laughs> no, we're good. It's good. Let's go. There's a there's another ghost I want to I want to talk about, and this one's also kind of infamous. Um, and it leads it leads almost it's almost right next to Access Seven on the other side. If you guys know what I'm talking about, where the arcade used to be. Oh, you yeah, probably yeah. know who I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the crying lady. Yep. Yep. I seen that one. And uh, I remember I was doing, it was another graves night when there was nothing going on. Everything was turned off. All the lights were off. Well, most of the lights were off. All the machines were off. And then I hear a, a young lady cry. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like it's right next to me. And I'm right across in mm -hmm. this area between two access ways and maybe like three different stores. And uh, I just, and I'm, and it sounds like it's right next to me. Like she's crying on my shoulder. And I look around and no one's there. I mean, Jesus. Holiday, one of the holiday seasons. It was mostly and, during the holiday seasons we heard yeah. her, by the way. And I'm glad you said that. I got a call from uh, one of the managers of one of the stores nearby right there. Yeah. And they had called the patch phone and said that someone was, that there was a female crying uh, near the old arcade but nobody could find her and i don't I, I it was me and another off i don't remember who it was but as soon as we got there we could hear the crying as soon as we rounded the corner and then just dead silence it was crazy because people heard it but no one ever saw where it came from and at first i think me and grizz uh i think all three of us at one point thought someone was playing a prank on us yeah 
uh because there were there were like massage chairs there we we unplugged those bitches we moved them <laughs> we looked nothing nothing was there man i swear to you the body in the chair yeah that's right you know you know no one's seen it that's ghost what, I did. what about you ghost do you got you got a story oh, of the crying lady i do i do and i seen it you seen it well i, tell, I seen it go on yeah, man <clears throat> i think i called you that night if i'm not mistaken you probably did <sighs> you did because oh, that I was at your house while we were drinking. Oh, that's right. Yeah, passed. that's right. Because we had to go over there. Yeah. 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 So there I was, you know, taking a stroll through the mall. I get to that side of the arcade, but this time, the lady was not crying by the arcade though. She was back by the where they had that. Oh. Old, that place. It was yeah. Back far, on the far end. On the far, far end. Far right side. Right back there. I heard it. I was looking around. I heard it crying. It was, it was loud too. You could hear like, hear it good. I get over there. I look around that corner for that thing. I did not get close to it. I took off and I did not go back to that side of that mall again. <laughs> All, I, yeah. I, I, I called you guys. I called you. Yeah. Wild, yeah. Right after I was like, yeah, nope. Hell no. Ain't going on that side. <laughs> so, okay. That's what three ghosts so far. Yep. Yeah. Three down. And those are, those are just some of the stories. These are all things that we've like almost experienced daily there. Like mm-hmm. in, in some cases, uh, the, the crying ghost was mostly around uh, Christmas. It was mostly oh, yeah, around the holiday December, season. Around holiday yeah. season. Yep. So uh, the next one is actually was over by, um, well, it's just pat, by the restroom by the Penny's Wing. And you guys might may or may not know this one. This one's probably a less known um the doppelganger or the mimic as i like to oh call. yeah yeah um i don't know it's been a long well, time it, honestly it, it's really easy to kind of debunk there was a there was a empty space there that we used for um storage Burge. yeah for storage and it was it was all blacked out and if you looked in that, yeah, that blacked yeah. out window another employee showed me this never mind you're right you see your reflection. Yeah. you yeah. see your reflection oh, yeah, and you yeah. see your reflection does shit you don't do yeah yeah i remember and I'm like, I I try to debunk it, but when my face makes faces at me when I'm not doing it, it's a little fucking weird. There's something, there's something wrong there. Just strolling around there at night, of course, you know. I get up to that oh, window, I'm just looking at reflection, looking in there. Like you keep scrolling around, and then finally I look through there, and I see it like do like a shit eating grin at me. Like, and the grin, the grin it does is like creepy. It's like, it's like yeah, it's like a Grinch oh, yeah. grin almost. Well, yeah. I've had that same story, man. Same story. I was, I was, uh, I remember, I think I was doing the, uh, the two to 10 one night and mm-hmm. I walked that way to lock up the, lock up the doors. And I remember looking over my shoulder. I, I remember do like, I, I was looking, I, I didn't, you know, when you, you see your peripheral and something yeah. happens and you're like, what the fuck? And I look, mm-hmm. what I saw was that, like my hand went up. And my hand was down, and my, I think my hands were like on my sides. I just wanted to say hi. And it was like that, and I look by, and it does the grin at me, and I'm like, I'm walking faster. I'm like, gonna get this fucking door. I'm gonna go the other way. And- With mine, I was I just left the the Penny's restroom, and I was walking back towards the security office. Always going to that bathroom. And out of out of the corner of my eye, I see my reflection, but I'm not like walking like i am i'm like sidestepping it's like facing me as i'm walking just oh that's at me. fucking crazy. That's creepy that's that crazy. is and creepy and i took off running like crab like, no. walking and shit <laughs> yeah just like, just like <laughs> sidestepping watching me i was like no no all good let's see uh what am i missing we're ready at the old mexican restaurant oh by the time wild and i left it was opened back up into a steakhouse but for a majority of the time that we worked there, it was an empty space. It we had to Mexican check restaurant. on a regular basis. If you ever play any, like, ghost games, any haunted games, anything like that, you kind of know what a banshee or a wraith <laughs> kind of looks like. Yeah. Um, and that was the figure that was seen in that space on the regular almost like yeah we had to go in there and check a few times because people said they thought they saw stuff going through i remember going in there a few times with some of the other officers and and it, and it we stop and they go did you see that I'm like, 
see what you're fucking with me. You're fucking with me. What do you see? So, and he goes like, you know, like the restroom area and I follow mm-hmm. or, or, or maybe it was, it was the restroom area or the, um, the, the cooking area, the kitchen. And we'd follow always in that fucking area, dude. Like that bitch would have been an EMF five for sure. <laughs> oh yeah. EMF five would have stepped in the salt. There would have been fucking fingerprints. Talk about that crucifix would have went off already. We all been dead. <laughs> Look, what's going on right now? See, your house is haunted. Uh, I think that's my Wi-Fi, dude. <laughs> oh, I oh shit! I so. oh, hope so. It's hunting right now. <laughs> oh, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> you better get a picture of me, bitch. Oh. Hell, don't leave that body. So, so yeah. Do you, do you remember that ghost? No, 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 I not. no. I, uh, I've been in that place plenty of times. I didn't see nothing. Wow, you're lucky. lucky. <laughs> Even went to the freezer in the back room. You know, with all the little tarps thing hanging out. But since that's yeah. number five, I'll go to number six. Uh, and I believe that was the Dairy Queen ghost. Mm-hmm. My favorite. You guys, you guys remember that one? There was a guy that worked there for about as maybe as long as I did, a little longer. And it did it wasn't the first time it happened. I had another guy. There was another guy, a Hispanic guy, that stopped me and told me in, in Graves. And he goes, "Is there anyone?" And it, both of them said about the same thing. Is there anyone in Dairy Queen? I'm like, "No, that place is closed." I watched the the lady that runs the place leave. <laughs> you know, I got my I got my last minute soda, and she took off. <laughs> and so yeah, last and, minute ice cream. And then she goes, "Oh yeah, that too." But then and then and he goes like. Well, I heard two people arguing in there. Like it sounded like a man and a woman, and I walked by and I could swear I saw like like two figures side by side, and one went <laughs> to the other one. So I'm like, I'm thinking, oh shit, I got to call on a domestic dispute here. There's a fucking Good. some violence going on, and then I turn around and they're gone. But like I, to this day, I can't. It's one of those things I can't like really explain. You know what I mean? Explain. Yeah. So I I from there on out, I just called them. You know, the first time I I witnessed it the second time i witnessed it, i was like yeah it's just a fucking ghost they're fucking off dude there's I, I never dealt with that one really I never had to enter any action never had to it was yeah, always in graveyards territory. and then i talked to the lady that ran the place you guys know who i'm talking about oh yeah mm-hmm. i talked to the lady that ran the place and she told me that she had some fucked up like some some weird things like that happened too i told her i was i didn't believe it i was telling her nah there's nothing going on in that spot you know been a great for a while so that's one ghost I have not seen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's six. You guys remember number seven? Movie theater. <laughs> the movie theater would usually, in their last showing was usually about 10, 1030. So they'd get out by midnight, mm-hmm. 1230 or so. So on graveyard, we have to make sure that everybody is left. So once all of the employees had left the the property, you'd be walking through the food court, which is right next to the entrance of the movie theater. And you would always hear, sometimes it sounded like a female, sometimes it sounded like a male, and they would always yell out, Hey, get in, you need to go run over there and there's no lights on, none of that equipment's on, there's nobody inside, and you're just like, what the fuck? Sounds like fun. <laughs> that's that's right. You know what? I, I kind of remember, I do remember that because it's, uh, it, it's not, a few times it sounded like it was close to, like, Access 1. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, right there, right there by the box office. Yeah. Yeah. And that little, like, indent area. There was a few, yeah, there was a few <laughs> times I've ran over there. You know, speaking of that, there was there was a time. Um, you guys remember the the fire, uh, the firebox case that was closest to the like the the restrooms in the food court. Yes, I'd watch that open and close a few mm-hmm. times it's by itself. <laughs> to the wind, <laughs> they didn't even want to awful. pay for fucking like AC at the AC. evening in the AC. fucking summertime. Oh, you didn't want no AC. 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 It's just, it's those AC. fucking fans didn't work. The no, they worked. The most, the most, the only thing that would have fucking blown that thing open is if I farted, and that what that didn't happen. I'll tell you that much. Are you sure? Sometimes I just slip out of you. Take a nice break in the plate show and play area. You know? I'll just sit in there, kicking back, legs out, you know, relaxing, taking it easy. 
Then, uh, of course, this ties into that, like the kid I was talking about. Uh, I heard something by the little, so that by that food place. Yeah. You know, the yeah. food on the corner. So there I was. I looked over and I saw a little kid's head peeking like, around the corner. Peeking out? That's fucking peeking creepy. Peeking around the corner and fucking took back off into that. And I was like, what the fuck is that? It's like, and that was the last time I laid down on there. <laughs> I never saw that, but if I saw some grudge motherfucker looking at me around a corner like that, I'd have been like, the power of Christ compels you. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was fucking creepy, you know. Oh <laughs> my god. Back, 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 Damon. Yeah, that was creepy. Honestly, I would even say that's that would be the, the kid ghost. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be, right? Just yeah. manifesting somewhere else. Just man just appearing and going, Ha ha, I like you. Be my friend. Fuck off. Hell no. Let's stay the hell away from me. <laughs> going there with a the spirit box. How old are you? Thirty. Dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, those are those are some stories that we've all dealt with. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that particular mall is haunted as fuck. Don't listen to what anyone else tells you. It's fucking haunted. Take it from three ex security guards from there that worked there for years and had to deal with it. There's one that yep. loves Christmas, loves Christmas or hates it, depending on how you look at it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, I, a lot of people are going to be like, this is bullshit because people don't believe this. But I am very like sixth sense. I can tell, I can walk into a place and tell you if something's there. Um, sure. See, that's no, what I'm talking me. about. No, I'm, just joking. I'm just joking. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, I'll start with this. I was going to my, one of my buddies, um, he lives in, he lived, he lived in Colorado at the time. I know one of you know who's who I'm talking about. And uh, I, uh, I had this, this thing where I would dream. I'm sure we've all had dreams before that came true. That's well, right. I dreamt that like, I went to the, I, before I went to his house, before we went over there, I've never seen his house. I, I never saw where his apartment or where he lived in Colorado, but I could tell you that there were like three spirits there. And it's because I dreamt of it. I I told him on the phone. I said, "Hey man, you got like, do do you got like something in your kitchen? Because in my dream, a lot of shit kept happening in your kitchen." He goes, "Oh my god, the fucking the fucking food the food things keep turning on by themselves and shit. How'd you know?" I, was, I dreamt like, about it. I dreamt about it. He goes, "Oh, well, I got it. okay. So we're going for dreams. When I was younger, my mom was driving us home. I fell asleep in the car and had a dream. My dog." I, 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 it was like I was third person for my dog. I was watching it. I seen how it fence dug out from what street it ran down. I seen everything. And I woke up out of the door. I was like, you know, indulge me for a moment, you know. Mm -hmm. Turn left down the street. You turn left down it, and boom, there's the dog. So you dreamt about down the street. So you dreamt about your dog running away, and uh, it was yep. true. It was true. It was true. I seen everything. How he escaped, where it street he ran down. So for my, I think it was my 31st birthday. Yeah, back in 1960. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my ex and I went and stayed at the uh, Monterey Hotel up in Monterey. Okay. Um, and it's supposed to be one of the most haunted hotels in the state of California. I am Is aware. One of that little tower looking yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to stay there. So we were on the second floor and mm -hmm. we had the room that was like our lookout was of the main strip right there. So there was no AC in the room. The windows were closed. The door was like sealed shut. I went in to take a shower. The doors closed. There's no fan on in the bathroom, nothing. So I'm showering and next thing i know the shower curtain is just like pressed up against my butt Hell oh yeah and, hot. and i'm thinking like you know my girlfriend at the time had come in and like messing she, with me right she getting so freaky pull the, deaky i pull the curtain back and look and there's just like a handprint of the curtain on my ass hmm. i like that and so i rinse off real quick get out open the door start drying off and she said that I was just ghost white. There was like no color to my face at all. Huh. And she's like, she get molested by a ghost? <laughs> How'd you know? Uh, I think I did. <laughs> Lucky. 
I had yeah, to, uh, I, I, like, I, I was trying to trying to figure out like okay, vent wasn't on, door was closed, no breeze, you know there was no static electricity that would have just fucking clung a handprint to my ass. From you the were curtain. you were debunking is what you were doing, and I was trying to, and I couldn't do it. <laughs> you got smacked on the ass by a ghost. You should have said thank you, you should daddy. Be flattered. Yeah, like that I, cake. All I'm gonna say is it was a good night. It was a good night. Oh, <laughs> That's right. you know what? It was a good night. I am uh, on the way back from one of my buddy's weddings. This was about mm, five, six years ago, give or take. And uh, we, we, me and a friend of mine who's now passed away, we're well, going down you. Route 66, and we were like, "Fuck yeah!" We, you know, it's 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 a tourist attraction you know there's old towns and stuff and there had to be an old there happened to be an old town that look i'm not kidding looked just like uh that fucking springs place from cars radiator springs yeah look just like there's radiator one there. springs there's one yeah there. yeah so we, we we go in and we find this hotel we get the we go in there and we and we go in we did, had no idea no idea we go in and i'm like uh, towards the end of the night, because we we're tired, was a halfway trip home and fucking just exhausted. And in the middle, like towards the middle of the night, we order pizza and we're eating. And I'm like, I'm gonna take a shower because I, if I don't take a shower in a hotel, the sh- that it's not used. Uh, the, the hotel hasn't been used to full extent to me. We're sitting on the bed, and then we see two butt cheeks on the bed. And well, actually, two she sees two people them. or two cheeks, two butt cheeks, one person, two butt okay. cheeks. I uh, double cheeked up on a Wednesday yes. afternoon. I, I was like, I just wanted attention. It was just like, what you're saying is that ghost was caked up with no. a double cheek. Yes, Fuck right. yeah, I'm talking about. Uh, he's just like, hey, look at my fucking cheeks. I was me and my brother, my oldest brother. We're in the house. I have a cat called El Gato, an outside cat. I mean, it's technically both, right? So I'm over here petting it, enjoying it, loving it. And my brother just tells me, you know, hey, just throw the cat outside, you know, put it out there. I'm like, no. Fuck that. I'm not putting my cat outside. Blah, blah, blah. It's fucking dark and cold outside. I think it was close to all this happening. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're arguing, arguing. And I finally said, fine, you know, whatever. Put the cat outside. I go, open the door, and I'm looking at my cat. I was looking down at it. As I open the door, I watch my cat turn, look at the ground, at the... hiss, and run back inside the house. Run deeper into the house. So it saw something. It saw something. So then when I looked to where it was from holding the door open there was a chick on all fours see through white her head twisted back broken looking at me long black hair hmm. i slammed that door fucking hard i was pale white and i was just standing there my brother was like hey what's wrong it looks like you've seen a ghost and i was like I think I might have. I, 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 I think I did. And I, I think I did. I told him too what it was. And it you was, didn't see a ghost, bitch. You saw a demon. We fucking <laughs> did not open that door no more at night. I'll do it now. But yeah, back then I stopped. Well, you I know. To, like, like kind of like the grudge, but fucking. Look, man, there's worse, a lot of weird shit that worse. goes on in this town. Okay. there's Maybe it was probably some drunk bitch that had a bad night, had a bad kink session <laughs> with her boyfriend. I have broken neck. Yeah. <laughs> Her neck's all backwards and shit. Like, help me! And this little boy's like, fuck that! You go find someone else to help you. <laughs> Damn, okay, you ready for another one? Here's yeah, fucking do it! Here. Do it! Do it! This fucking... Now, this one's at my father's house when I was little. I see all kinds of shit. Hallway. Jordan's room was right here. Mm-hmm. My room was at the top. Okay. So it was like there, like a little L. All right, so I'm laying in my bed. So I can see my door and I can see Jordan okay. from where I'm at. Watching TV, and out of nowhere, I see a shadow person run from my doorway, my doorway to my foot of my bed. It what crouched down the at the fuck? foot of my bed. And now, I wasn't scared at the time mm-hmm. because I thought it was Jordan. I was like, the bitch ain't going to get me. You know? not, <laughs> he's ain't going to scare me. I'm going to scare him. So I get out of my bed real quick, right? Pull the shirt up. She's down. I go over there. I get close to the end, the foot of the bed. And I go, I don't try to scare him. No one was there. Fucking took out out of that door, ran to his room. I said, "Jordan, did you come to my room?" He said, "Nope." I said, "I'm sleeping with you tonight." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "No way, ain't happening. I ain't going back in that room tonight." Cuddle brothers. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going back in that room tonight. I'll tell you what, not after that. So, uh, I was laying in bed here. Wife and my uh, sister are in the kitchen, and I uh, set up a clown animatronic. 
<laughs> yeah. you, you told me because we were playing. You told me about it. Okay, yeah. So it was like, it's six foot something. It's a fucking tall clown. I it was not plugged in. Uh, so the dog barked in the kitchen. Okay. I'm laying in bed. I thought nothing of it. You know, dog barks all the damn time. For- Dogs do that. Yeah, and then I walk in there, and the clown turned on. The, the fucking clown started moving around and talking. But it wasn't plugged in or nothing, right? No, no power going to it all. No, and I had to show it. To okay. Like, well, well, that's fucking creepy. Good You're thing I didn't hear it. Too. Fucking have Jesus. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is our Halloween podcast. We hope you guys have a fucking amazing Halloween. This is, again, our favorite holiday. If you know what mall we're talking about, feel free to go there and tell them this place is fucking haunted. Tell everybody. <laughs> and if you want to see, uh, we should, and we should all go to the car. What's it called? Queen Mary. And oh. do a little ghost, uh, ghost hunting ourselves. That would I mean, be cool. I have, yeah. I have some equipment. So, you know. Let's see. That... They're fucking haunted in there already. The closer I get to my Wi-Fi, like, the worse it goes. We want to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. We'll definitely have uh, another podcast in the near future. Uh, Season 9 will start sometime soon. It's just been a hell of a fucking year. It's been a hell of a fucking, like, few years. If you like what you saw, by all means, there's a few little buttons you can can hit. There's the like button. Right here. There's, There's... The subscribe button. And right here. <laughs> it costs nothing to you. And you can even leave a comment. It means a lot of lot to us though. Yeah, tell us what story you like the most, what yeah. more you want us to go in depth with. And you or, know Or if you have a story or yourself. Call, or yeah, stories of your own. Yeah, let us know. Let us know what kind of spooky stuff you guys seen or witnessed. We wanna do like uh, especially us three. We want to do ghost stuff. We want, we want to go yeah. to like the Queen Queen Mary. We want to go. Last year during um, my trip to Vegas, I went to uh, Zach Bannigan's Haunted Museum, and that was fun. Yeah, uh, I'd like to go there too. I want to go there. And I wanted to touch everything. Oh, I I I got the I licked the Divic box. It's good. It, it tastes good. Yeah, it licked. It was behind glass. I wish I I'd have been like, oh. <laughs> that's good. As long as you gotta lick at something, right? Yeah. Well, you know. And just so you know, for the future, there will be uh, some more shorts and possibly a few vlogs. We of, got plans. Uh, we got plans. Of a certain two individuals in this call that may look like each other that may be going to Vegas sometime soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's going to happen. Come, yeah. I wish some luck. I might come back in a body bag. Or you know our luck. Either one. Our luck. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so that, that's going to happen and we got, we're going to have some, some, we got some, a bunch of stuff, gameplays and stuff going on too. All right, guys. Well, till next time, we appreciate you being with us until we see you again. Remember to stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always.